Namelab. Talking Science. I'm very excited to be here tonight. I got a new lab coat for coming here. They normally don't look that clean. Um, one, two, three. 13 million of people will die from cancer in 2020. And that makes cancer one of the most feared diseases of our time. All these deaths could be prevented with an early diagnosis, and that encouraged people like me to find better tools to fight against cancer. I might introduce you three different things to understand our topic of research. First of all, the devices. You might be familiar with positron emission tomography and magnetic resonance imaging, which is one of the most sensitive methods that physicians can use nowadays to diagnose cancer. What happens is that we have a patient with a cancer at early stage, our second element, and we inject different substances, call it radiopharmaceuticals. These substances emit an energy that allow us to find and follow the tumor. Well, so we had an idea. Why don't we develop one unique system that combines all the elements that we need for all these biomedical imagings? And let me present you to our third um, component of our research. A multifunctional nanoparticle. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of imagination, please. So first of all, within a man nanoparticle core that is itself useful for MRI. Then we need a layer to cover these nanoparticles, to be able to transport them into the human body and to make them invisible to the immune system. Last but not least, we need to functionalize these nanoparticles with three different elements. A light to follow the tumor, a radiotherapeutic agent to detect them by a PET imaging, and the last one, a key, a key that goes specifically to where the tumor is located, to where the tumor cells are. So now imagine thousands of millions of these small nanoparticles getting injected into a patient and see clearly where the tumor is. You know, it's like the resolution you get when you take your sunglasses off. Thank you very much.